Welcome to English to Africa TV's Eyecatcher. This week, we will be bringing you the latest news and events from across the African continent and beyond, from politics and economics to culture, health, and sports. On Africa 54, in a sit-down wide-range interview, Namibia's Deputy Prime Minister, Natumbo Nande Indetwa, is calling on entrepreneurs to develop business activities and products in the Southern African country to take advantage of the investment opportunities in the U.S. and beyond. Whereby uh, we must engage one another as partners and uh, not uh, as one being vulnerable. Also on Africa 54, VOA reporter Sunday Shomari joins Africa 54 host Esther Yowart live from Doha with a wrap-up for the World Cup yes, in Qatar. Esther, as you just said it, it was Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi. Esther, to put it right, is like a boxing match, pound for pound, box to box. <laughs> Once you put it, somebody puts it right back on you. On Straight Talk Africa... Also, um, some people told me, you know, in the past, those kind of conferences, you talk big. A lot of people talk right. very broad, abstract concept. But this is actually the first one people start realizing, you know, um, they invited uh, private sectors, entities who really had years of experience on the ground. They start talking about, you know, specific solutions to very core challenge on the continent on red carpet. Let's go to East Africa, where we make a stop in Rwanda, home to Kanyana World, a fashion brand located in the city of Kigali. I was doing that as a hobby, uh, but when I graduated in high school, uh, that's when I started taking sewing lessons. Uh, from there, I was doing this as a hobby still. There was a, a gap in the market, there weren't clothes for uh, actually younger people who are making a, a modest income. So that's where I joined uh, the fashion industry as a profession. On Healthy Living. The holidays are here and experts warn to be mindful of what you eat. Everybody wants to live longer and you are what you eat. People don't know that. But everything that you put into your mouth counts. And now we are chopping our bell peppers. VOA our voices. Well, let's take a look at one of the experiences I recently had in, in New York. Let's take a look. Look, guys, no matter how much you think you class, how much you think you got it going on, when you go to a city, you don't get street food. You have not seen that city. I started as a uh, farmer's market vendor at Eastern Market, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. popping up a tent, mm -hmm. putting up tables, and just doing it kind of grassroots style. Wow. How long did yeah. you go with that? Ah, it's, it's been, it's tough. It's very difficult. It's, mm. it, it's probably the hardest um, way to enter into the food industry, into the restaurant industry, mm -hmm. but I think it's the best way to kind of get your feet wet and to learn the business. This and more have been happening this week on English to Africa TV. That was Hasuna Beishu for VOAAfrica.com.